Welcome back. Let's take you back now to our earlier story where we told you that the federal government has asked the current Chief Justice of Nigeria, uh, Justice Walter Onohan, to vacate his office immediately. Let's now bring in our correspondent, Celestine, uh, Celestina Iria, to talk to us more about it. Uh, Celestina, uh, tell us, what do you know about this matter? Yes, we know that uh, um, an application was filed on 11 January by the Code of Conduct Bureau to the Conduct, Conduct Tribunal to uh, commence trial against the Chief Justice of Nigeria, Walter Onogen, uh, on six count charges bordering on non-asset declaration and also on operating foreign account. And we know this is contrary to the provisions of uh, Schedule 5, Part 1, Paragraph 11, 1 of the 1999 Constitution uh, that says that uh, a public officer, the public officer upon resumption of office should, after three months resumption of office, should declare his or assets and also to do so subsequently after every four years and also at the end of his term in office. And uh, any public officer who is found uh, wanting in these provisions will punish, is also punishable under section, under paragraph 18, 2 of the same Schedule 5, Part 1. And the public officer will be asked to evacuate the office and also would um, be disqualified from holding any public office for 10 years. But of course, we know that this isn't the first time that the Code of Conduct Bureau will be arraigning a judicial officer, as that was of the case of uh, Justice Sylvester Ngunta, who was also um, arraigned at the CCT, but was, was acquainted by the Supreme Court. All right, no doubt you may have spoken with some lawyers to uh, seek um, their opinions as far as this is concerned. And if you have, what are they saying about the petition? Yes, uh, there have been a lot of reactions from uh, senior advocates of Nigeria. Some are saying this is to this is an intimidation to the judiciary, and also like uh, why is this uh, why is it coming at this time? Because there is no limit to there is no time limit to a criminal prosecution, and uh, being this time in a crucial time that the election is just around the corner, that uh, it's a be to allegedly rig the election, and also others are backing that uh, these claims by the CCT would not stand because uh, there are some provisions that say that it's only the Nigerian Judicial Council that can persecute, not persecute, sorry, that, uh, that can uh, uh, actually confirm someone's guilty before he or she can be arraigned, a judicial officer can be arraigned before a court. And so far, the NJC haven't released any statement in that regard or declared the, or found the uh, CJN guilty. So I don't think um, this would actually hold. All right, Celestina Iria uh, giving us uh, updates as far as uh, this matter is concerned. Stay on it. We will, of course, uh, call upon you to give us further updates as they unfold.